In this video, we're going to continue our work with geometric series and look at sigma notation. This is sigma just here, and it's a Greek letter. It means to sum, or if you like, add up. In question 13, we're asked to evaluate each of the following. So let's start with this one here. The way we read this now is that we are summing from r equals 1 to 6 of 3 to the power of r. If we go back to our sum of n terms, our sum of n terms is going to give us a, the first term, 1 minus the ratio to the power of n over 1 minus r. This is what we looked at in the last video. So what I need to do is collect the information a, r, s and n. a is the first term, r is the ratio, s is the sum, n is now the number. It's important to stress that r here is not the ratio. On the first one, what I'm going to do is write this out long form and then hopefully you'll see now which part corresponds to which when you're trying to find the information. So let's look now at the sum from r is equal to 1 to r is equal to 6 of 3 to the power of r. So when r is equal to 1, that's going to give me 3 to the power of 1. Then we need to add to that when r is 2, 3 to the power of 2 plus 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 4 plus 3 to the power of 5 plus 3 to the power of 6. So if we look now, our first term here is going to be 3 to the power of 1. That is just 3. OK, let's now look at the ratio. After a while, the ratio will become very apparent. This here is 3. This one is 3 times by 3. This one here is 3 times by 3 squared. This is 3 times by 3 cubed. 3 times by 3 to the power of 4 and 3 times by 3 to the power of 5. So in this particular case, the ratio is also 3. When you read it now, the ratio is this value right here. So in this particular one, the ratio is 0 0.5. The ratio here is 2. So the ratio is going to be 3. What we now need is n. It's not blindingly obvious all the time. For example, in this one, r equals 1 to 6. Clearly, there are 6 terms, as we're summing from 1 to 6. It's not always going to be the case, though. We might be summing from 2 to 6. If we were summing from 2 to 6, there'd be 5 terms. If we went from 0 to 6, 7 terms. A common error is that students write down that there are 5 as they subtract them away. Or if it's now from 2 to 6, they write it's 4. As you can see, it's actually going to be 5. So in this one, n is going to be 6. So we can say now that the sum from r equals 1 to r is equal to 6 of 3 to the r, plugging into a formula, first term 3, 1 minus the ratio, which is 3, to the power of 6, over now 1 minus the ratio, which is 3. You can, of course, use it in the other form, as we saw in the video before. So let's get a calculator and work that out. OK, calculator, we've got now 3, so we've got 3, then we're going to have now 1 minus, and we've got 3 to the power of 6, so 3 to the power of 6, and then we're going to divide that now by 1 minus 3, which is going to give us negative 2. So what do we end up with? 1092, so 1092. So hopefully you can see when I've expanded that or written it out in full form, the ratio, the first term, and the number of terms. So let's go on and look at the next one. So this time we're summing from r equals 1 to 8, or r equals 1 to r is equal to 8, of 2 multiplied by 0 0.5 to the power of r. The way I want to do this now is to find a, r, s, and n. So we can look at finding a. A is when we plug in r is equal to 1. So if I plug in r is equal to 1, 0 0.5 to the power of 1 is 0 0.5. We multiply that by 2, and that is going to give me 1. The ratio is 0 0.5, so I'm going to write that in. And then what we're going to have now, r equals 1 to r is equal to 8, there are 8 terms. I can simply substitute this in. 
Now, if you're unsure, if you want to check that the ratio is a half, well, just sub in values of r. If that's a half, 2 times a half is 1. If we sub in r is 2, 1 half squared is a quarter. 2 times a quarter is going to give us 1 half. If we let r be equal to 3, 1 half cubed is 1 eighth. 2 times by 1 eighth is 1 quarter. And you can see from here now that 1 half over 1 is equal to 1 half. We know that 1 quarter divided by 1 half is going to be equal to 1 half. And so on and so forth. So if you're ever stuck, it's just this value right here. So I'm just going to write this in. So we're saying now the sum from r equals 1 to r is equal to 8. Uh, of 2 multiplied now by 0 0.5 to the power of r is going to be, now, I'm just going to plug this in to the sum of n terms. So it's going to be a, which is 1, multiplied by 1 minus the ratio, which is 0 0.5, to the power of 8, over, now, 1 minus the 0 0.5. Uh, so you can do a lot of simplifying with this um, if you want, or you can just put it straight into a calculator. So what we're going to have then is uh, now the 1 minus 1 times anything is just 1. Don't even need the brackets here. Um, and then we're going to divide that now by uh, 0.5. So that's what we're going to end up with. And uh, as an exact fraction, 255 over 128. And I'll write it as that. So 255 over 128. 255 over 128. So nice and logical, nice and straightforward. Um, again, you, it re really, really is up to you in terms of how you want to, to put that in. So all I've done is simply now substitute in, and we've gone ahead and found that. Right, let's look at the next one. So on this one, we need a, r, s, and n. So we've got the sum from r equals 1 to r equals 9 to 2 to the power of r minus 1. So a, r, s, and n. A is the first term of my geometric series. R is the ratio. S is the sum. N is the number. And we will use our formula. The sum of n terms is A, 1 minus R to the n, over 1 minus R. In some exams, you will be given this in the formula book. So let's substitute in here. R is equal to 1. Well, 1 minus 1 is 0. 2 to the power of 0 is going to give me 1. The ratio here is going to be 2. And now r equals 1, r is equal to 9, 9 terms. So we can say now the sum from r equals 1 to 9 of 2 to the r minus 1 is going to be equal now to, just substituting in, we're going to have 1, that is the first term, 1 minus the ratio, which is 2, to the power of 9 over 1 minus the ratio, uh, which is going to be 2. Um, looking at this, I'm going to take a pump, but it's going to be, what, 511? Um, a quick guess, I might be wrong, but um, looking at that, 511, uh, it seems to want to simplify. Um, so 1 minus 2 to the ninth, 2 to the ninth over now negative 1, uh, over negative 1, uh, 511. 2 to the ninth is 512. Um, so essentially it's 1 off that. So that's going to be 5, 11. So there we go. Um, nice and straightforward. Right. Uh, let's look at the last one. This last one is uh, a bit tricky. Because by adding 1 each time, we're not going to form a geometric series. So what I'm going to do is look to split this up. There is also an issue here now with r is equal to 0 to 11, which is going to give me 12 terms. So... The way I'm going to do this is say that this is going to be now the sum from r equals 0 to 11 of 2 to the power of r plus, and this will seem quite strange now, r equals 0 to 11 of 1. Now, what this is going to give me here is just 12. That is going to be equal to 12, so I'm going to add that on. So what I'm going to do is split this into a geometric part and then we're going to be summing this constant. If you think each time I'm just going to be adding 1 to my answer, it's going to take it from, away from being geometric. But by splitting it up, we've got a geometric part and then uh, by adding 
12 lots. So on the first one, I would have added one. On the second one, right the way up. So A, R, S, and N. Well, A, if we substitute in 0, again, we're going to get 1. We've got 1 on a, um, the last three of these. That's not always the case. Um, but in this particular, uh, these particular examples is. So A is going to be 1. The ratio clearly is going to be 2. And being careful, n is going to be 12 as we're going from 0 to 11. 1 to 11 is 11, 0 to, uh, 0 to 11 is 12. Okay, so what we can say then is now that this, just plugging this in, the sum of 12 terms is going to be 1, that's the first term, 1 minus 2 to the power of 12 over now uh, 1 minus 2. And then we'll see what that's going to give us. I think 409... 495 perhaps um, if my brain power is working um, so what we're going to have we're going to have 1 minus 2 to the 12 and then divide that by now negative 1 and again you can do a lot of simplifying 4095 so that is 4095 so 4095 and then adding that now is going to give us 5 what's that going to be 50 uh, so 5007 so 4095 plus the 12 is going to give us now 5,007. So that one is slightly different. See, it's a bit of an extension one, um, but you're simply going to be adding one each time to that so we can sum that separately. So there we go, a basic introduction to sigma notation. Sigma means to sum, you get A, R, S, and N, set up your geometric series, and then simply consider any additions that you need to add on.